today's news. The government has pledged 10 million U.S. dollars in humanitarian aid this year for Rohingya refugees and the countries hosting them. Second Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Li Teho announced this measure last week at the virtual session of the Conference on Sustaining Support for the Rohingya Refugee Response. He said Seoul will continue to support the underprivileged and those suffering from humanitarian crises such as women, children, and refugees in the region. The Vice Minister added that Korea will continue to participate in global discussions on solving such humanitarian crises. The Korean economy has posted positive economic growth in the third quarter despite the COVID-19 pandemic. The Bank of Korea today said real GDP grew 1.9% this third quarter from the second. Private consumption and construction investment declined, but exports and investment in plants and equipment grew. Export jumped 15.6%, led by cars and semiconductors, and investment in equipment grew 6.7%. Deputy Prime Minister and Economy and Finance Minister Hong Nam Gi said Korea has entered the recovery stage of economic normalization, adding that he has expectations of overcoming the crisis. That was today's news. I'm Lee Ji-hye.